All right. Let's talk about it. A massive umbrella review has just been published. Ultra processed foods are linked with a whopping 32 different health parameters, including mortality, cancer, mental, respiratory, cardiovascular, gastrointestinal, and metabolic health outcomes. So eating any ultra processed foods will kill you? No. Let's make this super simple. Imagine I asked all of you watching this video to tell me what you eat, maybe using a food frequency questionnaire or a 24 hour recall. Then I do some nerdy number crunching, and I notice those of you eating more ultra-processed foods tend to weigh more and have worse health for whatever reason. That is the association. But we don't yet know why. Is it because you are eating more of these? Or actually because you are eating fewer of these? Is there something specific within these foods like additives? Or is it literally just because you are consuming more sugar, fat, and calories? And less fiber, protein, and micronutrients? It's a tricky dicky thing to pinpoint why. And remember, we are talking about all ultra processed foods like they are one single family. But that is a novice mistake. This pastry is ultra processed, and these Cheetos, and these gummy sweets, and these marshmallows. But so is this protein bar, this muffin, this probiotic cream cheese spread, and arguably this granola that my wife lovingly made me. But a diet high in these could have a very different effect on your health than a diet high in these you know? Do you see the issue? A lot of ultra-processed food research is based on weak associations and very low-grade evidence. And whilst there is little doubt that prioritizing nutrient-dense foods tends to mean limiting your intake of these, the terms processed and ultra-processed have just become this scary, singular boogeyman type of thing. And the people aggressively telling you that you need to avoid all ultra-processed foods often don't realize how unrealistic and unnecessary that advice is. 